Lee, thanks for talking to us. Hard afternoon to take. Yeah, certainly is. Um, first thing I want to do is apologise to the crew fans. Um, the manner of that defeat in the, in the first half is totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. And as a collective, we, we take responsibility for that. We had a really good crowd, um, over 5,000. I know the incentive has been um, from the from the club to get more bodies into the um, into the stadium. So first thing, just want to apologise. Um, that looks nothing like what we've built our success off this season. Um, Rem is it reminds me of the Morecambe, that little bit in the Morecambe, which is we ended up conceding three goals. Um, and if we want to stay in and around the playoffs, it's got to stop. It's got to stop pretty quick. What's been that response from your players in there? I know you, you know you're not going to reveal everything, but how did you find them? Down on the floor. Um, my job to pick them up. Um, well, the staff's responsibility. Um, so not a lot of reaction in terms of things back from the players. Um, and as you can imagine. You know, a game that they fully expected, probably, you know, without being disrespectful to Forest Green, to get three points out of the game, um, and it was, it was, it was, it was, it was uh, like I say, what we built our success on. And that was nothing like it. You're hoping it hasn't become a mentality problem. No, I've tapped into that, and we've got to embrace and we've got to enjoy where we are in the league. Um, still in the playoffs, six points away from the, the team that are out of the playoffs. Um, so we've got to embrace it. Um, and I've, we've got to, there's two ways you can go in there. You can either shrink and, and you disappear or you, you come out and you speak to the media, you speak to the fans and we take responsibility for it and we get our chests out and we go back to work as quickly as possible. Um, and that's the response I want from the players. This, this should galvanise them. It really should should galvanise them. The pride should be hurt um, after after that 30 minutes of football we saw in the first half. They shouldn't shrink because at stake is one of the biggest prizes that you go for, gaining the promotion. That should be the incentive to first of all get that opportunity to gain promotion. Yeah, no, I don't think they will shrink because um, they've shown it time and time again. Not quite so much in terms of how that football match looked. Um, but when they've had setbacks, they've responded. They've got to take in the information. We've got to show it them again. We've got to take in the information, um, and we've got to move move forward quickly. Um, about four weeks left of the season to go. Um, we've got to do everything right um, between now and then to make sure we're in a position that definitely the fans have come to expect us to be in now. 20 minutes performance in the second half at the start of the second half won't help what the result was like for you at the end of the 90 plus odd minutes that you played but can you just draw off that because that was a bit like the crew team that 20 odd minutes yeah you can draw on it Graham but you're 3-0 down it's too late we're playing at home we've got to get back to being hard to play against at home where we keep the ball away from the opposition we make the game exciting um, so I'm not the players will draw on it of course we will but we're professional people and my pride's hurt right now and We'll be looking at, at the negatives rather than the positives because there's been so many positives throughout the season. We've got to try and make them um, mistakes less and less between now and the end of the season. You're hurting. You hope it's hurt your players. You've got a few days to go before you go to your next game, but I suppose it's like everything. You've said before, you wish you weren't going away from not playing for four or five days. You've got a game the next day, but that's the one you've got to look forward to. That's the one they've got to respond to and you've got to lead them. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll do that. We are disappointed. Um, you know, sometimes you you you're, um, you lose games at home. It doesn't, you know, regardless of where they are in, in, the, in the league. Um, but you, you lose in a certain manner and that's, that's not represented us today. What we've got to make sure is everyone's physically OK. Um, and we've got to make sure we've got some brain space between us as well in terms of just letting things settle um, and assess things so we can go over it with clarity with the players make sure there's some clarity in there um, because like I say we've got a, we've got a group together um, the fans will be fuming I, I know they will they'll be fuming I can sense that you know the booze ringing out um, after 25 minutes 27 minutes or whatever it was the, the, um, um, and again I apologise for, uh, for what they saw in the first half an hour 
Um, I'll have a good look at did we get things right. It wasn't down to formation, it had nothing to do with formation because they didn't cut us open through the formation or anything like that, nothing to do with that, down to individual area, uh, errors. Um, but we're going to need them. We're going to we're going to need them, um, you know. And obviously, be frustrated and angry. I'll probably bump into one or two around the town. Come and vent your anger at me, um, but back the players, please. Well, thanks for being honest with us. Just one final point: Ed Turns and Chris Long. Um, Chris Long says he's hurt his thigh again. Um, I didn't even know Ed Turns was injured. Um, we were making we were making subs, so um, I didn't know until after the game. Um, so we're going to have to be assessed tomorrow.